Live from Coleman, Alabama, Premier Bank presents Wake Up, Coleman. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jacob Murphy. And I'm Stephanie Means. And welcome to my Coleman Television uh, and Premier Bank. Uh, so let me go ahead and just say, you are obviously not Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> No, not unless she had an extreme makeover last night. Yeah, yeah I, I, that would be honestly terrifying if it, <laughs> if it was that in depth. Um, so yeah, so it'd take a lot. So as as you can tell, this is Miss Stephanie. Uh, she will be joining me uh, today and tomorrow as my co-host. So thank you for filling in the spot I, for me. I'm happy to be here. I love it. <laughs> I can see it from your face. You're just so excited. It's I'm it's sorry. it's not you guys, it's me. She just no. doesn't like me. I'm just way too much of a morning person. You're way too much of a morning person. I Is that a thing? I don't know, but I used to hate mornings. And now like 5 a.m. rolls around and I'm jumping out of bed. I'm like, hey, it's morning. You're gonna have to teach me your ways, oh great sensei, because I'm mm -hmm. just like, oh look, it's five. <laughs> Get used to getting about two, three hours of sleep at night. <laughs> and apparently lock your keys and in your car. And lock your keys in your car and have yeah. to call a locksmith at 3 a.m. You know, <laughs> just those little things <laughs> make the day amazing. Uh, oh, if only we just knew a locksmith. <laughs> <laughs> my poor insurance company hates me because I swear, like with my insurance plan, it includes free roadside assistance. And that includes like if you run out of gas, if you lock your keys in your car, anything like that. Stuff mm -hmm. that I'm always doing. So now I'll call and I'll start to give them my policy number and they're like, oh, hey, Miss Means, you like your keys in your car again? I'm just like, go ahead. Yeah. Let's go ahead and add a couple hundred dollars to my insurance premium and we'll just call this a day. And they're like, okay, well, are you at your house? <laughs> like, I don't even have to tell them my address. And they're like, okay, well, go. we've got somebody on their way. The moment you Thanks. call it, it's like, we're sending someone. <laughs> don't even ask. We're just, even if you don't need it, we're like, sending them. Last night, I put it on Facebook because, you know, I put my whole life on Facebook. And my friends started coming on it, and I was like, you know, I think you could break the world record for this. Is that? But is that, is that something is to brag one. about? <laughs> Probably not, but you know, I've always wanted to break a world record, so if that's the one, then I'm in the running. B world record broken for most break-ins to own vehicle. <laughs> there, there you go. I tried. There you go. <laughs> it's so bad. One day you're just gonna bust your window in frustration. I thought about and move it. it last night. No, I did. I thought about it. Not only for your hand's sake, but for the poor vehicle. <laughs> no, my poor car. So bad. <laughs> you ready to move on? Yeah, Please I'm, stop making fun I'm, of myself. Yes. Yeah. We should probably stop doing that before I get, you know, beat Too up. Too choked up. <laughs> All righty. Well, you know, in the off chance that anyone here likes to win free stuff, because I personally do, and I love free stuff. Free, yeah. Free. Who doesn't like free stuff? Well, we have this awesome thing that happens every day called the Sponsor of the Day, and you can only find out about it through our Facebook. And if you check our Facebook right now, you have the earliest chance of winning those awesome free prizes. So let's take a look at what those prizes are for today. Well, with Papa Murphy's, you can win one large pizza. Uh, their Papa Murphy's Take and Bake pieces are awesome if you've never had one. And didn't know this, you can grill them. You can, you can grill? grill the Papa Murphy's pizzas. Yeah, they're fantastic. Oh. And then there's the Chick-fil-A Choose Your Treats, which is either the cone or the cookie. Maybe a little more, depending on how you ask us. <laughs> and again, in order to win these prizes, you have to check who our sponsor of the day is and call us at 256-734-7399. Again, that's 256-734-7399. So definitely give us a call and tell us who that sponsor of the day is so you can win these awesome prizes. Now you'll have one other opportunity during the show to do this, and that's when we give that hint out. But trust me, you don't want to wait that long because these go things go call, pretty quickly. Yeah. Call now. Now it's my personal favorite time of the show. It's our Facebook friend of the day. Our Facebook friend of the day today is Micah York, and he likes Chick-fil-A, so Micah, you should call in and get that free treat. Yeah, definitely. And he likes Carmack Cinemas. And for Micah being our Facebook friend of the day, we would like to give him a free large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mott's Famous Barbecue. So, you know, with all these free prizes we're giving away, it's only, it's only fair that we, uh, we, we state something that is going to be equally given away. And uh, that would be the roasting of Miss uh, <laughs> Betty. Betty. Miss yes. Betty. Yeah, they're going to be giving her something, but I don't know if it's going to be too nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how people could be mean to her, but... Oh, yeah, no. I, I really feel know, like this is just going to be a list of her accomplishments in joke format. I'm really hoping that somebody just shows up with a roast and like, hey... <laughs> the, the roast of... Or they have, have her on a steak and they're just putting her over a fire. You never uh, know. 
You never know. No. But we can I'm find out it's in neither just a of moment. Those <laughs> yes. Definitely. We have uh, Ms. Costello uh, on the show with us today who represents Victim Services, who uh, is the organization hosting this event, the Roasting Miss Betty Lee Thanes. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. We're going to want to see how that turns out. So we'll be right back. by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Classic bolognese behind you. There are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Welcome back, and we are joined today by Ms. Leah uh, Costello, uh, who represents Victim Services. Yes, ma'am. And you were the one hosting the event again, which is the roasting of Miss Betty Leaf Haynes. We are, we so, are. Yes, ma'am. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about you? Uh, what position do you hold at the? I am the Sexual Assault Program Coordinator for Victim Services of Coleman. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Victim Services is the administrative office that handles two different programs in Coleman, very important programs. We are over Harbor House which is the local domestic violence shelter and the right response program in Coleman. Okay. And, and this is a program that you've been with for a while now? Yes, I've been with Victim Services almost eight years. Wow. Eight now, years. does a victim have to go to the shelter to get help from your organization? Absolutely not. We have a crisis line. The victim can call the crisis line. We can get a little information from those victims over the phone, and that kind of lets us know if they're eligible for the services we provide. Uh, they can come to shelter if they need a safe place to stay. But there's also a lot of victims that we serve on an outreach basis that don't necessarily need that safe place to stay, but they need some resources, and we have those available. Okay, good. Now, with this event that y'all are having, I know you'll be raising some money with it. Yes. So what exactly does that money go to? That money goes to do things in our shelter that, let's say, grant money we can't use for everything. If we have a grant and it is specific to a program, that's what that money has to be spent on. So we need money for groceries to feed these people. Yes. And we need money for emergencies that come up, transportation for children to school, um, medications, and other things that are unforeseen when you're taking care of people. So y'all really provide everything we for these people? We provide everything we do. That is absolutely amazing. It is. It's a great organization, and it's definitely needed in Coleman. Yes, because we have such... I mean, I know at Schoolman, our crime rate with all of this isn't as high as, you know, bigger cities, but it's still, people don't realize how much it does happen here. Absolutely. And a lot of people think, you know, oh, Coleman, it's such a quiet, great place to live. And that's true. But Coleman has every social issue and social problem that a large metropolitan city has. Correct. And domestic violence and sexual assault, unfortunately, is one of the largest. Yes, and just, it's just crazy how people just don't realize that it's going on all around them that's right and they think we're in because i mean i've spent my whole life thinking coleman's in this little bubble where nothing happens right but, you know like people just need to realize hey you know that's this right this is going on and it may not be happening to you but it's happening to someone you know correct Which and is why you it's don't so even to report things that not only if it is involving you but if you witness that's these right kind of things, that's right important. you know of course, be safe and don't put yourself in jeopardy. But if you see someone who maybe is 
being abused or you think may be abused, reach out to them, talk to them. Um, definitely let them know that there are services available for them in their community and that we're there for them. Okay. And yeah. again, you cover services not only in Coleman, but outside of Coleman as well. We do. In Coleman County, we provide domestic violence and sexual assault services. In Winston County, we provide sexual assault services. Okay. Now, let's get back to this event. It's going to be taking place on August the 6th. That's right, which is next Thursday, a week from today. Okay. And it's going to be held at Terry Pines? That's right, TP Country Club. Awesome. And now, how much is it for people to get in and to participate? In all okay. Of this? Yeah, the tickets are $50 or more a piece. We okay. say or more because we are a nonprofit. And so we can write those tickets off. We can give you a receipt for your taxes. So if you want to give us a donation of $1,000 for a ticket, we'd be happy to take it. <laughs> <laughs> now, who, I know Miss Betty is the honoree for this year. She is. Now, who are some people that you've honored in the past? This is our fourth event. We started out four years ago with Pastor Bob Kurtz, who everybody loves. He was retiring and doing a Guinness World Record attempt, and we just kind of made a week-long event of it and did a roast and the golf event all at once. Oh, wow. um, we realized that no one else in Coleman was doing an event like this and we thought it would be a great little place to start for us and it's turned into a great event. Uh, we've roasted uh, Mr. Roy Drinkard who everybody knows <laughs> and last year we roasted Dr. Garland Gudger. Oh wow so you've had really People in town that everybody that everybody knows. knows. That's right. That is absolutely amazing. I think it's so interesting. It is, and we, you know, it's not every day that you can poke and prod and make fun of Roy Drinkard. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> we were able to do that, and it's been a great, great little event for us. And again, you stated that, uh, you know, with it being Miss Miss Haynes, I mean, this is a predominant community member, someone that's very well distinguished here in Coleman. That's so right. Very, that's right. It's very, uh, it, it's very exciting for me, you know, to see someone of, of such honor, especially agree to do something like this. It's always interesting to, to willingly go out and be, uh, to be poked and prodded at that's by right. the community. That's right. And she's just the cutest, little, classiest lady I have she ever is. seen. She is. She's a doll. She's a sweetheart. She has been so great through this and has helped me out so much. Um, checks in with me, you know, to make sure everything's going okay, to see if I need anything. She's been very helpful through this whole process. And you have some very interesting uh, members of the community coming on to, to do the roasting, correct? We do, we do. Uh, Dale Greer with the City of Coleman is going to be our roast master, so he'll get things going and kind of keep things moving along for us. Um, Mr. Roy Drinkard is going to be one of her speakers. <laughs> so I'm interested to, to see what Mr. Drinkard will have He'll to say. He'll be on the other end of it this that's time. That's right, that's right, to see what he'll have to say about Betty. Uh, we also have uh, Jimmy Drake from Jay Drake Salon, okay. who is her stylist, shall I say. <laughs> He's going to come in and roast her. So we've got kind of an extreme personality there from Mr. Drinkard to Jimmy Drake. So it's just interesting to see what's going to be said about Miss Betty. Now, if people want to get tickets to this event, how do they go about that? They can call our office, Victim Services Office, and we have tickets available. We still have a few available. We want everybody to come that wants to come. Uh, like I said previously, tickets are a $50 donation or more apiece, and they can just call our office, and we can hook them up with a ticket. Okay. And what's the number for them to get in touch with you all? The number to our office is 256 775 Two six zero zero. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, is there anything else that you want to add in or anything about well, victim services or the roast? Just remember that this is a nonprofit organization. This is probably our biggest fundraiser of the year. It's very important for us uh, to have this fundraiser. It helps us, you know, to serve those victims that we're there to serve. Um, and come out and just see Miss Betty and enjoy the night. Hope it's going to be kind of lighthearted and a fun event that everybody will have a really good time. Yes. Well, I hope that you'll have a great turnout. Thank you so oh, much too. for coming well, in with us. Thanks for this having morning. me. We really appreciate it. Well, we are looking forward to hearing more about it. We hope that the event goes absolutely perfectly well. We do too. And hopefully, we will get you back on here again before the next event. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. All right. Well. All right. Well, if you'll join us again in just a minute, we'll be right back.
State offers associate degree and certificate programs in Alabama's hottest job fields. Every year this decade, almost 3,800 new workers will enter these fields. Will you be one of them? Be one of us. Get in a Wallace state of mind. Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to mycolemantv.com. There you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's shows. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the links to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Welcome back. So, you know, I was thinking the other day, I, I've got a friend that just told me that he's getting married, believe Ooh, it or not. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I know the perfect place that you can go. Do you? Yes. They happen to be our sponsor of the day. Are they really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that would make sense then. All right, so. You to give the hint? Uh, the hint of the day, for those of you who do not already know, and if the prize is still available, is which one of our sponsors does tuxedo rentals. Now, if you don't know this question, there's literally only one sponsor we have <laughs> that, that does tuxedo, tuxedo rentals. rentals. Yeah, so you should know who this is. But definitely give us a call. Again, call that number at uh, 739. Nope, nope. I'm horrible. Nope, I don't no. know our number. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm testing you. That's you are testing definitely. me. Check the phone number. Check our Facebook. Contact us and let us know who the sponsor of the day is so you can win those prizes. Well, in other news, uh, we've had some pretty interesting things happen in the last few days. Uh, so I'll just I'll just helm up the one that uh, is it seems kind of ridiculous to me. Which one uh, seems ridiculous? To Tom you? Brady breaks cell phones needed for an investigation in his. Now I'm I'm gonna attempt to say this word because it's two very simple words put together. The deflate, deflate gate. gate. Deflate gate. But it's scandal. one word, so I don't yeah. understand that. But the deflate gate, which essentially is Tom Tom Brady is under fire because they believe that he contacted officials about changing the air pressure in the footballs used in, in the NFL games. Correct. To help him with his throw. throw. And this is ridiculous. <laughs> like we're now we're now to the point of, hey, let's change the air pressure in the ball as as help. Would that have that big of a difference? I suppose if it was less deflated, it would, or if it was more so deflated, I, it would have more wind resistance. But so I guess the tighter it is, the better. I have no idea. Outside of that, it's just this is strange though because magically he he had these cell phones according to this uh, article that he needed for the investigation in terms of where he could prove that he had not contacted these these members of the affiliate and apparently he destroyed every one of them. Yes. But he, he also says that every time he gets a new, new cell phone, phone, he destroys, he destroys the, old the old one. Though they have proof that in one of his emails, he had actually stated at once to have all of them broken at the same time and not at individual points. Now, Tom Brady is indeed a member of the, the Players Union, 
and the union has stated that they're going to file uh, on his behalf. But this is, I mean, this is just ridiculous, honestly. And now, if he does accept his suspension, he will have to sit out on several games. Yeah. He'll be missing the games against the Steelers, the Buffalo Bills, Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Dallas Cowboys, and he won't return until October 18th. 18th. And after the Cowboys miss, that's probably not going to help his career too much. So let's let's see how this plays out. I honestly don't think it's worth this much of a hubbub, but I guess cheating is still cheating. So we'll just see how this plays out. Now, our next story is something that's really close to my heart. Is they're saying that the Chattanooga victims may not be eligible for Purple Hearts. Now, the only way that they will be eligible is if the FBI declares that it, the shooting was an act of terror. And, you know, right now they're just saying that it's a homegrown violent extremist. So they're going to have to really investigate in this and yeah. see if these Marines, this is, the Marines and the sailor. There have been many people who have chimed in on this. Uh, for instance, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer stated that there's absolutely no doubt by any thinking person, anyone who's rational, that this was a terror attack. If you don't find a direct link between ISIS or Al-Qaeda, it doesn't matter. It meets the criteria. So this is, this is one of those instances where, again, it's just really strange yes. how we would not just go ahead and, and personally have this i feel like they through. should be honored with the purple heart hey. but th i mean that's my personal opinion and again it's understandable you know because if you get shot by some random guy that's not an act of it's not wartime yes like i mean i can see both but you know they've is, they've protected our freedom we, well, they weren't even expecting any of this this was one Correct. of those instances that just happened so it's it's just sad to hear that something like this happened now if the purple heart awards are not approved then the families of the victims will lose all of the purple heart benefits, benefits. as well okay. so hopefully you know they'll get all of this figured out soon and the families will know Receive what's going to happen yeah. they'll 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 have some sort of uh, definite judgment on this soon Correct. Uh, and, and last but not least, something that we kind of touched base on yesterday but have a little more information, uh, is again Mr. Roy Drinkard protects military recruiting office here at his shopping center, which is the King Edward uh, Plaza Shopping Center on 2nd Avenue Southwest. Uh, Mr. Roy Drinkard, as some of you may know, was actually in the United States Marine Corps during World War II as a private first class. So this incident that's happened recently is kind of a big deal to him in the sense because those are the men that he fought with. Those are, yes. These are his brothers in arms. So it's kind of interesting to hear that he has decided to spend this $2,200 for this, uh, what is it, grade four uh, uh, level four level ballistic four, glass. Ballistic glass. Solid bulletproof glass. I mean, yes. this is military grade bulletproofing, and I mean, he is he is really going forward in this to to make sure that these these men and women are safe. Yes, and Mr. Drinkard also stated, he said, "I'm sure other landlords have thought of this around the country. I hope as many of them as possible do the right thing and protect their military recruiting tenants in a similar way. Yes, it costs money and takes some time, but what's the life worth? You can't put a value on it." And I fully agree with Mr. Drinkard right there. I think this is an amazing thing that he's doing for these men and women. Absolutely. This is, this is another just outstanding citizen that we've had in Coleman. Definitely. Uh, he's been everywhere. So I'm, I'm kind of glad to see that he's doing these, these steps to protect these, uh, these men and women. Very much so. Well, again, this is my favorite part of the show because this is now the time where I get to talk about the weather. And, again, the weather is brought to you today by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. All right, looks like the high is going to be about 91 with a low of 70 today. The average, uh, the record high was set in 1930 at 101 degrees, with the record low set in 1947 at 56. Sunset tonight is going to be 8.06 p.m., with sunrise tomorrow at 5.34 a.m. We've got some spotted showers coming out there in the Gulf, but it doesn't look like anything that will be reaching us too far today. Though, again, we have a mostly cloudy chance this week, so we're kind of looking at anything can happen at this point. Uh, again, we're looking at about a 10% chance of rain today with a high of 92, partially cloudy. But tonight, we're looking at, mo yeah, majoritably cloudy with about a 60% chance of rain with si low at 65. Tomorrow, not any rain chances, but we're looking at about a high of 90. And again, we're looking at an average from about 92 to 94 throughout the next week. Mostly cloudy throughout the week, but again, nothing too serious. And then lows down into the, the upper 60s, and it looks like Saturday is about the only day that's going to be a little colder. So I don't know, that, that fall weather's coming back. I'm just not a huge fan. I'm, I'm like Natalie, I'm so excited for the fall weather. <sighs> oh, why, why, why is everyone so excited I for think that? it's a girl thing. I really do, I think it's a girl thing because you get to wear like cute boots and scarves. And As a dude, I just want to like go out and do things. You and can have, have to bonfires. Wear 
I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm okay, just not. you're gonna have to come to one of my bonfires because I promise you, say so. you, you hear that, audience? Call. You you get to come to one of her bonfires. Everybody's invited. You can help me get the keys out of my car when I lock them in. Yeah, good, and then save your insurance premium. That's right. All right. Well, if you'll join us again in just a moment, we will be right back. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank, and I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That moment? It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months, and now we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to home. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sauteing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. Almost $39,000. That's the mean annual wage for Alabamians trained as machinists and in computer-controlled machine operation. Wallace State has machining programs to fit your career ambitions. Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind. Welcome back. It's time for our community billboards. And they are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Sensory friendly movie showings are Thursdays at 10 a.m. at Carmack Cinema. $4 includes popcorn and drink. On July 30th, they'll be showing SpongeBob Out of Water. And the Gatanti Della Donna invites all ladies 18 and over to a listening session Thursday, uh, Tuesday evening, August 4th at 6.30 p.m. 7th Street Baptist Church. Meet and greet choir members, listen to the fall program preview, and bring a friend. For more information, call 256-736-2622. Fall gardens and cover crops for the home gardener at the North Alabama Agriplex is going to be August 4th at 6 p.m. You can give them a call at 256-297-1044 or you can send them an email at colemanag at gmail.com. And Thursday, July 30th is Miracle Treat Day. On Miracle Treat Day, a dollar or more from each blizzard treat sold at both DQ locations will be donated to your local Children's Miracle Network. And the Women of Faith group for Garden City Church of God is having their annual cookbook fundraiser. The cookbooks are $12.50 a piece. For contact information, you can call Rhonda Davis at 256-962-2208 or Patsy Kennedy at 256-527-3953. And again, if you have a community billboard or just want to get in contact with us, you can look at it. Or you can reach us at our webpage, which is mycolemantv.com, our email, which is mycolemantv at gmail.com, or phone us again at 256 734 7399. And remember to check us out on Facebook and definitely post those community billboards with us. Again, that's the community billboards. We're brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Now's the time for our birthdays and anniversaries. We do not have any birthdays today, but do keep in mind that each of the birthdays of the week will be entered to win a free ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And the anniversaries, they will all be entered into a drawing for a $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden. Well, if you didn't guess it already, out of all the sponsors we have, there's only one that gives formal wear and tuxedo rentals, and that is Mr. Hicks Men's Wear. Again, they're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, so definitely go check them out. They're a wonderful place. 
And again, remember to like us on Facebook. We want to hear from you. We are very feedback driven and want to know what you guys want to hear from us. Definitely contact us, look us up, like us, and let us know what's going on in the community. So again, we've had a pretty interesting show today. We've had some cool guests. I uh, believe so. We've, we've talked about some interesting things. Now, I would like to say I have made an error and, and talking about Mr. Drinker. And I do apologize about that. I'm not used to seeing this much money, so I incorrectly said 2200 It's actually 22000 $22,000 were spent on the upgrade of this building. So that's that's no small... That's a that's huge no, yeah, yeah. That's more money than we're going to see. Yeah. Mo in, in, in our life. I don't make that much in a year. <laughs> I don't that's either. Just, so don't just, just saying. So, you know, again, that's a wonderful thing that he's done, and we really do appreciate his contributions to the community. So th thank you again, Mr. Drinker, for that. And again, I apologize for my error for making it seem like it's such a, a minuscule thing. And now tomorrow we'll have Miss Jacqueline in with us. So yeah, I'm looking so forward to that. Face. If you guys don't... Uh, those new to the show... We have this wonderful lady that was on the show for years uh, that we're excited to see back tomorrow uh, talking about some very interesting things. So definitely stay with us for that. Um, and you'll get me again tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can pretend to be excited. Yeah. I, yay! That's the best. See, no, I'm reach my level of excited. happiness. Yeah, that's what it is. That is. <laughs> can you not feel the overwhelming applause to the television? Totally. I they definitely they're feel all it. They're all so excited. <laughs> oh, you know they love you. All right. Well, thank you guys again for joining us. And I'm Jacob Murphy. And I'm Stephanie Means. And again, everyone here at Mike Coleman Television hopes you have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.